Hey guys, Faisal here with Gadget Hacks, and uh, this is part two of the iOS 8 jailbreak series, uh, part two of two. Uh, in the first part, what we did was actually install the jailbreak, uh, really easy stuff. Uh, we used a program called Pangu uh, with the Windows PC. Basically, you just have to tick off a few settings, um, uncheck something in the app, uh, hit the go button, and you're pretty much done. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to notice that you have a Pangu uh, program on your iPhone or Pangu app rather. Uh, go ahead and open that and then you're gonna see a um, option for open SSH. Go ahead and tap that. I've already installed this uh, that's why it says reinstall here. Yours is just gonna say install so go ahead and hit that. It's gonna do its thing. It takes under 30 seconds uh, and then just hit OK and uh, we're pretty much done on the iPhone for now. Um, so go ahead and put that down and then um, what you're going to need are a few files that I have linked to in the full tutorial. Those are the Cydia files and you'll also need a um, an SFTP client. Um, there's a few you could choose from. Um, for Windows, the one that I'm using here is called WinSCP. Uh, it's just uh, it's pretty bare bones, it's free. Uh, there's a few options for Mac people as well. So um, actually, no. Um, Download that, download the, the two files that you need. Also on your iPhone, you're going to want to make sure that uh, you're one, on the same Wi-Fi network as your computer, and uh, two, go ahead and go to settings, go to Wi-Fi, hit this I button next to the network that you're connected to, and jot down the IP address. Uh, we're going to need that to log in to this program. So I've already got the IP address in here. Uh, the standard port is 22. That should be fine. If for any reason you can't establish a connection, change that to 23. Uh, the username you're going to enter is uh, root, R-O-O-T, and the password is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. Uh, once you've got all that, hit login. Uh, your program may say connect. It'll say something else. Um, and then just wait for it to to get set up and what it's going to do is it's going to shoot you into a file explorer. So um, on the right I have uh, the root of the iPhone directory and on the left you have the files on your computer. Uh, what you simply want to do is find those two Cydia files that you uh, downloaded and just drag them over. I already have them in here um, as I was playing around with this before. So it's simple, just select them, drag them over or copy them or whatever else you need to do. And then uh, there's really just one final step, and that's issuing a couple of commands in a secure SSH, uh, SSH terminal. Uh, your program may be able to do that. Uh, this one does it uh, really easily. So I'm just going to go to Commands uh, and go to Open Terminal, and it's going to you know uh, throw up a little warning. And I just hit OK, and uh, it's going to connect again. And what this does is it kind of it opens a secure connection between your device and your computer so that uh, uh, they can basically share files uh, uh, through a network. So um, like I said, we're just running two simple commands here. Uh, I'm simply going to copy and paste. I think it's much easier that way. So I'm going to copy the first one and paste it in and just hit execute. Now you're probably going to see some errors here. Go ahead and ignore those. Um, this is just uh, kind of part of the process at this point. Uh, once you have the first one done, go ahead and do the same thing for the second one. I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste right here and then I'm just going to hit execute. Uh, let that do its thing. Uh, again, uh, just like with the first one, I, I got a few errors here and the last one is also an error. So go ahead and just ignore that. You can now close out of this and you can close out of this and what you're going to want to do um, is on your iPhone just go ahead and reboot. Um, so I'm going to turn it off and I can actually unplug at this point too because we are all done uh, and then I'm going to turn back on and when you turn back on you should notice that um, there will be a Cydia app on your home screen. Uh, very familiar stuff. Now just be aware that uh, again this is all very new so uh, while Cydia itself works on iOS 8. There's not a lot that uh, that works with it um, and, and you'll see that as soon as you launch the app. Now that being said, check out the article. There are actually a few jailbreak apps that have already been updated to work with iOS 8 or iOS 8.1 uh, which is pretty neat, you know, everything's working faster and again, you know, this process wasn't necessarily painful um, but 
in the future, um, which may be just you know a couple days from now, uh, there will uh, probably be uh, Cydia baked into the Pangu app. So you won't actually have to do any of this. It'll just be running the program, and that's about it. Now I'm going to slide over, and boom, there's Cydia. Now um, this part actually takes a while. It's going to prepare your file system. Uh, so you know, I'm, there's really no reason for me to show you all that. Um, but check out the full guide. Uh, it's got uh, it's got everything that you need, all the files, uh, all the links to the programs that you need, and um, you know it'll walk you through step by step. And uh, you'll pretty much be up and jailbroken in about 30 seconds, and then you know just a, another few minutes to get Cydia installed on the iPhone. So uh, you know, drop me a line below if you have any questions or concerns, or you just want some clarity on something. Hit that like button if we helped you out. Uh, hit the subscribe button to. Uh, follow along with us as we show you some cool tips and tricks with iOS 8 and now with uh, jailbreak on iOS 8 and uh, We'll see you guys next time. Thanks